You know, people say you're, well, you're homeless because you smoke crack. No, I smoke crack because I'm homeless. I think it's a coping mechanism. It's a way of escape. It's a way of escape from their environment. You need to have a job. You need to pay rent. You need to be off the street and have a home. You, you need to take responsibility. You know what? I don't need to do none of that. I was in Vietnam and I was not thinking, well, I'm defending the United States. I'm thinking, I'm gonna shoot this son of a bitch before he shoots me. I'm, I, wanna, I wanna go home. I seen my best friend, I'm blowed up with a landmine. Two days after we're there. And the crack, I don't know, <laughs> this, this girl I knew got me to try it. And I liked it and it liked me and it's been like that ever since. My wife got killed in a car accident. When she died, it just seemed like part of me died. I give up. I walked out with the clothes on my back. I don't vote. I don't file income tax. I don't play the game anymore. This is my life. After I gave the money, then had to beat me up. They got me down on the ground and kept kicking me. They tried to kill me. A crime could happen right here, and there's literally nothing we could do about it. They'd probably be over here handling a dead body, or down the street on Fifth Street having a, handling a, uh, a rape or a, or a violent assault or a robbery. Every time I smoked crack, every single time, I said to myself, I wonder how this is all going to come to an end. Either you're going to die from it, or you're going to go to jail, or something's going to happen.